Today I'll be showing you how to make a sandwich that was born in New Orleans, Louisiana back in the 1900s. It's a shrimp po' boy. First thing we're going to do is start the onion rings up. I've got the onions ready, ready to go into my slicer mixer. Push them down one by one. Next thing to get started is the shrimp themselves. So I've got the shrimp ready. Now it's time to make the little pre-dip and a half a cup of water. And the seasoning that I'm using, Louisiana's Shrimp Fry. Can't go wrong with this one. Now I've got it pre-measured out where it's five tablespoons of the fry mix itself. Just put it in there, stir it up. It's kind of like a little pre-wash. So there ain't no big old pots in there. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna use the powder, sprinkle it on the bottom, get a nice little bed of it. Make sure that's mixed again, take it out. And we're gonna dump all the shrimp into it. A couple of them are trying to hang back. Mix it up. Now they're very small shrimp, but that's what you want for the shrimp sandwich. You don't want those big old, big old monster shrimps that you can't fit on the bread. So we're just gonna drizzle them into the, the dry mix. Do a few at a time, folks. This ain't no race. Then we'll come back, put some powder on top of them. Mix them up. Look at that there. Now I got a few more added into the shrimp base, at the shrimp mix. Now, we're gonna do a little easy shortcut. We're gonna sift them out with this. Just kind of get the extra flour off of them. That way you don't have so much stuff over. And then just dump them into the pan. This way you get to keep most of your, your uh, seasoning mix inside your pan for the next batch of shrimp you're about to put in it. But those are very well coated shrimp. Okay, time to put some more. I think you can see how easy this is. Cover them up, mix them up, and we will show you when we get to the next step. Like we are at the end of it. Get that last little batch going. Find a little easy way. Hit it at the bottom. Make them little shrimps bounce on the inside of it. Boom. Tossed, turned, and ready to go. There's our final, our final uh, mix of it. We're gonna go outside and cook it in the deep fryer. All right, we're outside, ready to go. Time to start putting some of these shrimp in the pot. Now I've got my temperature set right at 350 degrees. And the pot's so big, folks, I believe I can get all my shrimp in there. Yep, we're just gonna scrape them all in. They're very small, so they won't take long to cook. Okay, now we're looking at about two to three minutes before we give it the proper check. But uh, we're going to come right back in a couple minutes. Okay, time to pull them out. They've been dripping for a couple minutes. Look at that. Now, is that method pretty easy, pretty simple? I believe it's easy to do and a lot of people can do it. Now, the next thing I need to do is get on my onion rings. We'll fry those next and then put the sandwiches together. Alright, back to the onions. Now, I've got a cup of water and two cups of my onion ring mix. Let's get all that put together. So 
gonna be a little thick, but it's gonna be tasty. There we go. All right, folks, let's see. As much as that I can get. Okay, now we're gonna take this onion rings. I'm gonna have to do this in sessions, so Again, don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty. Okay. Let's go ahead and just dump the rest in. Gotta get all that batter on that onion. That's what's gonna make it tasty. And make sure that the onions are broke up. You don't want a big flat surface. And then we're gonna drop these in that hot grease. The grease is about 375, and they don't take long to cook. They look perfect right there. Okay, I'll meet you back outside at the... Time for action on the onion rings. Now, you gotta put them in slowly. The water, I mean the, <laughs> the oil temperature itself is at 375 degrees. It is not going to take long at all for these to cook. So really we're not going to do too many all at one time because we don't really want them to stick together anyway. And if you notice, they're really thin. Thin and beautiful. So we're going to stop at that point right now. Look at them cool. We're gonna be pulling them out of that oil here very soon, probably in the next 20, 30 seconds. You don't have to rush them because they don't take long. They're all starting to float. You can see that nice golden color on them. That's, that's your target. That is your target right there. So we're gonna let them drip a little bit. Move on with the next batch, but we'll see you inside when we put the sandwich together. Time to put the star of the show together. That's gonna to be my beautiful shrimp for boy. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna cut it right down the heart, right down the center. And we're gonna have us a nice big old one. Of course, we're gonna cut it up into smaller pieces. <laughs> So, first thing we're going to do, got it all cut down, I'm going to put in some mayonnaise, open it on up, right down the center. Okay, don't want to be too bashful on that. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these pickles, we're going to push them all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna have all kind of varieties of flavors on the inside of this shrimp, poor boy. I've seen some people build them on the side and some people build them on the top. I'll let you guys be the vote, see which way you think it's the best looking. I'd appreciate some comments at the end. Now, we've got that, the pickles put in. So the next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna take some provolone cheese and I'm gonna lay it right on top of them pickles. I'm gonna break one slice in half. You don't need a whole bunch of cheese, but the flavor in it, you're gonna regret doing it if you don't. Okay, so we're good on the cheese, good on the pickles. So now what I wanna do is I wanna put in some tomato, and I've got them cut half slices, and I'm putting them right here on one side only. Okay, we're done with that. Then I'm gonna give you some lettuce. Split it open a little bit. I'm gonna sprinkle it in. All the way down. Now, now we're to getting close to the end. We're gonna start putting in the shrimp. Now the shrimp goes right in the middle of the lettuce and the tomato. 
You're going to have to kind of force them in there. But you're going to see how nice it's going to look when we get done. And what's really more important is how good is it going to taste when it gets done. So we're going to push them down as far as we can because I happen to like a lot of shrimp. You can see the handfuls. I mean, I'm throwing a handful at a time in here. Really going to make it worth it. That's a beautiful poor boy. Now, one final little topping before we finish this up. This is mayonnaise, a little Tony seasoning, and then some Louisiana hot sauce. Finish the flavoring off with just a light drizzle all the way across the top. All right, what y'all think about that? Okay, now, final look at it. Before we're gonna cut it up. Okay, we'll cut it up and we'll put a picture of it at the end of the video. Hope you enjoy.